All right, we've got something big to talk about. Zipu AI, which now goes by Z.AI, just dropped their new model series, GLM 4.5 and its lighter sibling, GLM 4.5 Air. And it's honestly one of the most impressive open source AI releases we've seen in 2025. Not just because it's powerful, but because of how carefully it's designed to balance performance, efficiency, agent capabilities, and accessibility. It also comes in at a surprisingly low cost, 11 cents per million input tokens and 28 for output, which is rare for a model performing at this level. So if you're into reasoning models, coding agents, or high-speed large language models that can actually be used in real-world applications, you're gonna wanna hear about this. All right, let's start with the main model, GLM 4.5. It's a massive 355 billion parameter foundation model, but it uses a mixture of experts architecture, which means only a portion of the total parameters are active during inference. In GLM 4.5's case, only 32 billion of those are used per prompt. That setup helps it punch way above its weight while keeping costs and hardware requirements manageable. And for folks who don't have access to massive compute, Z.AI also released GLM 4.5 Air, a more compact version with 106 billion total parameters and only 12 billion active. That one's designed to run on more accessible GPUs, even consumer level hardware with 32 to 64 gigabytes of VRAM. But this model isn't just about being efficient. It's built from the ground up for agent tasks. That means it's not just a chatbot, it's a thinking system. Jipu designed it to work like an autonomous agent with the ability to reason step-by-step, step, use external tools, plan actions across multiple turns, call APIs, and even control interfaces. You've got two modes you can toggle, a thinking mode that's designed for deep multi-step reasoning and a fast response mode that trades off complexity for speed when you just need a quick answer. That hybrid structure is built directly into the architecture and gives the model flexibility across different use cases. Now, when we say, GLM 4.5 is fast, we're not talking about just slightly improved speeds. Thanks to speculative decoding and multi-token prediction layers, it generates more than 100 tokens per second on their high-speed API. In practice, they've seen it reach up to 200 tokens per second. And that's with a massive 128,000 token context window for input and 96,000 for output. That's huge. GPT-4 hovers around 32,000 tokens. Claude 2 goes up to 100,000. GLM 4.5 goes beyond both. You can feed it entire books, massive PDFs, code bases, data sets, you name it, and it won't blink. But let's dig into how they trained this thing. It all starts with 15 trillion tokens of general purpose data for pre-training. Then they hit it with another seven to eight trillion tokens specifically tuned for code, reasoning, and autonomous agent tasks but they didn't stop there. Zipu developed a custom reinforcement learning infrastructure called Slime, yeah, that's the actually name, and used it to run complex long horizon reinforcement learning sessions. Slime uses a hybrid training setup that decouples training and data generation across separate hardware. It supports both synchronous training for typical tasks and asynchronous rollouts for slow agentic simulations. It even accelerates rollout data collection using FP8 mixed precision formats that lets them keep the GPU saturated and training efficient even when the agent tasks involve long delays or step-by-step -step execution environments. The model architecture also packs a bunch of smart design choices. Instead of going wide like many large models do, Zipu made GLM 4.5 deeper. They reduced the hidden dimensions and number of routed experts but added more layers. That depth gives it better reasoning capability. On top of that, they used grouped query attention, partial rotary positional embeddings, and bumped the attention headcount to 96 for a hidden size of 5,120. It sounds like overkill, but it actually improves performance on reasoning heavy benchmarks like MMLU, BBH, and GPQA without hurting training stability. They also added a multi-token prediction layer to support speculative decoding which speeds up inference significantly. When it comes to benchmarks, GLM 4.5 is not just competitive, it's at the top. On 12 major evaluations covering everything from reasoning and math to coding and agentic behavior, it ranked third overall globally. 
That puts it right behind OpenAI's GPT-4 and XAI's Grok-4, and ahead of Clock-4 Opus, DeepSeek R1, and Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash in most areas. And this isn't just internal hype, these are public benchmarks like MMLU Pro, AIME24, GPQA, Tau Bench, BFCL version 3, and BrowseComp. In reasoning, it scored 91% on AIME24 and 98.2% on Math500. On coding, it pulled off 64.2% on SWE Bench Verified and 37.5% on Terminal Bench. For context, Claude 4 Opus scored lower on several of those. And in real coding evaluations with 52 hands-on agent tasks, GLM 4.5 had a 53.9% win rate over Kimi K2 and beat Quen 3 Coder with an 80.8% success rate. Its tool calling success rate, a whopping 90.6%, better than Claude 4 Sonnet, Kimi K2, and DeepSeek R1. That level of reliability is critical for autonomous agents that need to interact with APIs and external environments without constant supervision. The model also nailed the Browse Comp benchmark, which tests how well a model can act like a real web research agent. GLM 4.5 got 26.4% accuracy on that, which is significantly ahead of Claude 4 Opus and just a couple of points behind the top performing O4 Mini High model. One of the big draws here is the price. Jipu is offering GLM 4.5's API for around 0.8 Chinese Yuan per million input tokens and two Yuan for output. Combined, that's just 2.8 Yuan total per million tokens or about 39 United States cents. For comparison, Claude's API at 100,000 contexts costs roughly 30 Yuan per million. That's more than 10 times higher. Even DeepSeek's R1 is pricier and OpenAI's GPT-4, don't even ask. GLM 4.5 is undercutting all of them while offering performance that's in the same ballpark or better in several categories. And this isn't just about cloud access. The model is released under the MIT license, which means it's open source and commercially usable. You can download the weights from Hugging Face or ModelScope, run it locally, deploy it on your own infrastructure, fine tune it, or integrate it into your products. They've also included open AI compatible APIs and even made it plug and play with existing agent frameworks like Claude Code that makes migration or testing super easy for companies already using another stack. Jipu didn't just stop at releasing a base model, they showed off full-on live demos. One of them had GLM 4.5 act as a research assistant, taking a topic, performing web searches, analyzing results, and compiling a final answer with links and sources. In another demo, it built and controlled a Flappy Bird game from scratch, including logic and animation. Then there's the PowerPoint demo. GLM 4.5 generated a full HTML-based slide deck, choosing layout, content, images, and text, all based on a single user prompt. They also showed how GLM 4.5 could be used to build a full-stack web application, Freenet, backend, database, and deployment, just through conversation. It supports multi-turn interactions, so users can refine and modify the app as they go. The result wasn't some broken placeholder, it was a real working site with clean code and working functionality. It even looked good, which says a lot for AI-generated user interfaces. Now, zooming out a bit, Zhipu's move here isn't happening in a vacuum. China's AI industry is pushing hard on open source development. Zhipu is part of what local media calls the AI6 Tigers. Startups like Moonshot, StepAI, and Baichuan that are competing by releasing increasingly advanced models to the public. Moonshot released the trillion parameter Kimi K2 just weeks ago. Zipu, by dropping the largest open model to date with 355 billion parameters, is taking the lead in this space. And this open source push is a direct counter to United States models like GPT-4 and Claude 3, which are completely closed and expensive to use. By making GLM 4.5 free to download and cheap to run, Zipu's betting on network effects. If enough developers, researchers, and companies start building on top of it, it becomes the standard. And based on the benchmarks, capabilities, and pricing, they might just pull that off. 
They've got serious backing too. Zipu raised $1.5 billion from Tencent, Alibaba, and multiple Chinese local governments. They have received strategic investments from groups in Hangzhou, Chengdu, Zhuhai, and most recently, a 1 billion yuan, about $140 million stake from Shanghai's Pudong VC. The company is gearing up for an initial public offering, likely in Hong Kong, and plans to raise another $300 million to continue scaling compute and research. All signs point to them doubling down on foundation models rather than pivoting to niche tools or vertical AI like some of their competitors. And their roadmap doesn't stop here. GLM5 is already in the works and they're starting to explore multimodal models too. They've already open sourced GLM 4.1v, which includes vision language support. So it's safe to say they're aiming for full stack AI capabilities. Bottom line, GLM 4.5 is a serious player in the AI game now. And if models like this keep improving, what happens to closed systems? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.